stretching. Getting ready to go to the gym and don't mind the gigantic pimple on my face. I actually like used a moisturizer, I think I told you guys, the Aveeno with SPF. <sighs> Disaster. Um, anyways, it is Thursday and I'm just getting ready to go work out. I'm not really sure what body part I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just wearing my uh, I feel kind of fat pants. I know everybody has a pair of those. Um, I actually really like these. They're by Under Armour and I got them as a birthday present from my cousin's girlfriend and I think she got them at TJ Maxx so that's where you can get them just another t-shirt I have to cut up a bunch of t-shirts um I got rid of all the ones that were like kind of not worn really well and then um me and Wiener I think are going to do a video where we show how we cut them but and it's just a thrifted shirt and then one of my old Victoria's Secret bras and my Nike shoes that I've been wearing every day. My greasy hair. I need my glasses. Um, so. Hi guys, sorry. Um, my hubby was talking to me. Uh, I'm going to bring my little car mount thing because I haven't talked to you guys in the car while I'm driving. It's like all the time I've had lately. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring my car mount. So.
guys so I filmed my booty workout it was more of like a hamstring workout um, we did some hamstring curls and curtsy lunges and I tried to really just focus on one exercise at a time and I've really been just trying to burn out my hamstrings and um, it's a weaker part of my my legs and uh, my quads usually take over so I've been using like the hamstrings first and then um, just focusing on that for one day and it was good it was exactly what I needed I did not want to go to the gym at all and that's why I love having these girls and a trainer it's it's um, not necessary but I I truly enjoy it like it it just makes me happy and the camaraderie that we have and stuff like that so um, I do like to work out by myself sometimes too so it I guess it just depends my mood changes every day but I needed it today's was stressful and work is just getting really busy and as we get towards the end of the year if you guys don't know I am an insurance broker so health insurance so uh, that's stressful and it's a lot of work but I'm grateful for my job and uh, you know it's full-time so I work all the time it's uh, it's more of a career I don't like to call it a job because my clients call me all the time um, there's no like clocking in, clocking out. It's just you're clocked in and you're always clocked in. Um, so it makes a lot of this hard. I've really been trying to keep up with my videos. I apologize, the last video I just uploaded, you guys have already seen it by now, but the sound was cut off, I don't know. And um, it was a shorter vlog because um, I've been trying to just separate it by the days. And so some of them are gonna be longer, some are gonna be shorter. Um, no rhyme or reason, you guys know me, I'm no professional, I just really, Whatever feels good at the time, I'll post out there. But I am trying to do more consistent like series. So I'm gonna, you know, go through the Olympia prep. And then of course I have my meal prep Sundays, which I know you guys really like. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And I have a bunch of recipes coming also. And I've been really trying to edit all my Thrifters Anonymous videos. Um, so uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy the editing and I have a lot of fun, but then it does start to get a little overwhelming. So that's when you usually see me stop for a little bit because I'm like, okay, I need a break from the computer. Um, but uh, just a lot of stuff going on. I had a good friend of mine, like I had mentioned before, I think the other day, um, stepfather passed away and I miss my friends and uh, my sister is getting married. Um, I don't know if I announced that actually. And um, we're gonna go to the Bridal Spectacular this weekend. So I'll see if she wants, you know, let me film. I'm so excited for her and I want us to help her plan. And then also Danya is getting married. And I think I, I did mention that. So I wanna help her plan. So there's just a lot of stuff going on. A lot, a lot, a lot. And um, I am not gonna dance uh, in the next project that Magical Madness is doing. I really want to, but my body, like I just, I can't do it all. And I am, I'm aware of that now and I'm trying to be very, very cognizant of what I say yes to because it's like I want to do everything and I, I think I can do everything and then you realize you know what um <laughs> I, there's only 24 hours in a day and it's just not possible so anyways you guys are probably wondering what the heck I'm doing I'm in the car because my shoes so I have like tons of shoes right and I love them all but um there are a few shoes where it's like if I'm going to work and I'm, I'm going to be walking to appointments and walking in the the street and the gravel and like getting crazy I use up a lot of black heels just really cute like standard black heels and um, I busted the ones that I was wearing um, had them forever but they busted like fell apart like the insides broke and it was bad so anyways I'm at Ross uh, I'm gonna go inside and see if they have any that are on sale um, you know, 15, 20 bucks, guess or BCBG. Those are usually like my go-tos. And then I'm gonna hop over to Marshall's. I wanted to see if they had a few um, stickers or something cute that I can put on my um, things that I'm selling for the boutique. And I wanted to wrap it a little nicer. And I wish I had like stickers that said my name or something. I don't know. I'm not that advanced. I'm barely advanced in shipping anything out. So anybody who's bought anything, I apologize because I am. I keep trying to like do it in a timely fashion, but then I'll get there and then they'll tell me like, oh, I have to weigh it. Like there's a few that are in Canada that um, I had to end up getting weighed because I paid the wrong thing and then I had to go back and it's just been, it's been interesting. It's a learning curve for sure. I, I think I'm getting better, but um, there's always something new that I, I'm learning. But um, I do appreciate all you guys and I hope that you're enjoying the things that you get and please don't forget to share them with me. Um, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go inside of Ross and then Marshalls, and I will see if I can film a little bit and take you guys with me. All right.
Rogers and Marshalls. Tried this? Maybe I should try it. Hey guys, I didn't get anything at Marshalls or Ross, but I am making myself some dinner. I've got some zucchini spaghetti, chopped up the rest of the zucchini, and then I have just some onions, some grilled chicken, and I poured a little bit of that um, Sichuan sauce, just a really tiny bit, like a teaspoon maybe, and some of that uh, coconut, soy, whatever crap that is. Anyways, I'm tired. Aw, oh, Samson. Alright, I'm gonna keep cooking. just got home from work and I thought I'd share my business professional outfit with you. Um, I really look like a football player. I was just looking at my shoulders. I love me some shoulder pads, but I didn't even realize. Anyways, um, hair is in a high chignon and my glasses. And I'm actually wearing this lip cream or whatever that I got from NYX. Soft matte lip cream in Prague. A really really pretty like purplish pink color my necklace is from Israel it's just a Hamsa um, this is just a dress I got I want to say I thrifted it from I can't remember and then this is from Goodwill just a blazer that I thrifted a while ago too with black and white is my go-to for work lately and then my um, Ross heels by PCBP so comfortable I and mean, go with everything so that is what I am wearing and I'm um, just making myself a protein pancake and I'm gonna go to the gym that okay can we just I don't even think I've talked to you guys that boxing first of all my hands are still shaking from yesterday I felt like I had like something wrong like my forearm was sore it was 